Well, how long has it been? So, hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am doing my 12 days of crafts. On day one of Craftmas, we will be making some little sleds. For this craft, you will need popsicle sticks, scissors, a hot glue gun and some glue sticks, some fabulous string, and some paint of your color. So, that's all you'll be needing for this craft. Now let's get started. For step one, you're going to want to take your beautiful popsicle sticks and cut them to the right size. Here's how I measure. So, I place the LPS on the sled, and then I'll take a pencil or a sharpie and mark my lines where they should be. So I know where to cut my sled. Now you're going to want to actually cut the sled. So line up your scissors with the magical little pencil mark or whatever mark you made. So now you should have the base of your sled done. For step two, we're going to cut some yarn. I have changed my scissors due to cutting problems with my um, popsicle sticks over there. So I'm using these scissors because they work a lot better. So, I'm going to measure using my LPS once again how long this needs to be to fit around. So, that it goes. Good. So, I've come to this measurement right here. So, mine is about however long this is because I don't have a ruler with me. But it's about, let's see, the length of one mechanical pencil. So, now we're going to cut some more popsicle sticks. Yay! So for step three, we're going to make the bottom of our sled. So, we're going to cut our popsicle sticks to have an edge like this. Now be careful with this because these are kind of sharp. They're not going to kill you sharp, but they're still kind of sharp. So you want to make sure that it is long enough to fit your sled, but not too long. You're going to want to cut two of these because these will be the base of your sled. You should now have two of these. For step four, we're going to hot glue. You may need an adult supervision to help you with this. Or if you don't know how to use a hot glue gun, just have an adult do it for you. Don't want to get burned. Trust me, it hurts. While my hot glue gun is heating up, I place a foam mat underneath it. This is so the glue does not get everywhere when it heats up. I have a miniature hot glue gun simply because it is easier for my hand to use. While the hot glue gun is heating up, you may want, want to put your popsicle sticks in the shape of the sleigh you'd like it, to, you'd like it to look like. For step five, while the hot glue gun is heating up, I cut two small popsicle sticks so they could fit right here. That There should be one close to the top of your sled and one close to the bottom. The hot glue gun appears to be ready. For step six, I am not going to talk very much because I'm concentrating on not burning myself. Repeat step six twice. When you have finished step, step six, your sled should look somewhat like this. For step seven, we are going to glue these on. When you have finished step seven, your sled should look a little bit like this. For step eight, we are going to glue these on, the string to your sled. So you do not burn yourself, you will want to place the string like this. So it is crisscrossing over one another, just barely, and underneath the sled. When you have finished the step, it should look a little like this. The string should be encased inside the hot glue. Step 9. Wait for it to dry. This is the last step. Step 10. So, now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to cut off any excess glue, 
with your scissors, whatever scissors you used, and you're going to want to grab your paint now because this is going to be the decorating part. For small details on the paint, I use a mechanical pencil. The mechanical pencil helps with small details. It also helps get in those tiny cracks in the sled. Before painting, please note that it should still fit your LPS. Make sure it does, because if it doesn't, that's a problem. Now, you're going to get to paint it, but remember, it needs to dry, so give it plenty of time. Depending on how many coats you give it, or dep depending on how many coats you need to give it, you need to let it dry for a certain amount of time. I believe mine should take approximately 10 minutes. I am using Apple Barrel Gloss, so I am assuming it will take about 10 minutes. I am also using the non-gloss, so I have a good finish. I grabbed a makeup sponge because they seem to be good for painting on small details. Well, not small details, but covering things. You can also use a sponge brush. I have some on me, but I think this might work better. And now it's time to paint! Woo! Shake it up! Woo! And now I will teleport some paintbrushes onto the scene. Ta-da! I will just dab my, my little sponge into the magical paint. Don't know why I'm calling everything magical today. Really don't know. But you're gonna want to dab it onto the sled slowly. That way it gives it kind of a sled texture. Making it look a little bit more wooden than it really is, even though it is made out of wood. Kind of making it look more realistic, you could say. I would like to give credit to my aunt for giving me the idea of making a small sled. I would also like to thank Pinterest for, for helping her find the idea. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye!
So, if you watch this part of the video, I did mine with a sponge to give it a kind of rustic look. So, yeah. Also, this can also be used as an ornament. You can put a little design on the front. I might put like a holly leaf on mine or something. Because I like holly. So, it's a Christmassy thing. Put a tree on yours, a snowman, do whatever you want. You can put an LPS logo on it. Whatever makes you whatever makes you happy, whatever floats your boat. But mine is white at the moment, and you can do it any color you want, guys. Just I chose white because it's kind of a rustic color, and it's not like any of my sleds. I have like purple and green sleds because got them a while ago. But hey, still sleds. So thank you guys so very much for watching the first day of Craftmas, and there should be another one upload today because I am a day late. Might actually upload another one, too. So, thanks for watching, guys. Bye! By the power of the cat door, wish you a good day.